Hey, chicks, let's chat. So, listen, in the wake of everything that's going on with P. Diddy, all these allegations, all these women coming out saying this, that, and the third, right? Multiple people saying maybe not the same story, but very similar, right? So, I was always taught that everybody ain't lying, right? Um, And you know why I really know everybody ain't lying? Because... To be honest, some of that is, is is in our culture. We do that. We do that. And I just looked at an interview with um, David Banner. And he made a, a profound statement. And he one line. And he said something of the nature of when they are doing stuff like that, our culture, people, we been knew it. Somebody been knew it was going on. And that's what I'm talking about right now because... When when does all the covering up stop? Because that has been an issue for our community. Is that we allow a lot of things to go on for a long period of time. Right? And then. And then. Eventually. It will come out in the wash. Right? But usually it's like something has to happen to somebody who is very prominent or whatever happens. It has to be like very egregious for people to start taking notice the whole time. Somebody or a lot of bodies been knew that that person, uh, that situation, circumstance was going on and we kept turning a deaf ear to it. Right. And I know this to be a fact because when I was coming up as, you know, coming up teenager, it was a certain person where we lived that had a bad reputation for always, you know, dealing with girls or S.A.N. girls, you know, young girls. And, you know, when I very first heard about the situation, I told myself because I'm a young, I'm a little girl, I'm like eighth grade, you know. And you hear about, oh, this person, S.A., this little girl. So the first thing we think about is that, okay, well, she fast. She was fast. She was always going over his house, et cetera, so forth. She may have been fast, right? Because like I say, two things can be true. She could be fast and you could still violate her, right? So just because she fast don't give you a reason or don't give you the green light to do anything to her that's inappropriate, right? And then also, based on her age, whatever you did to her was inappropriate. Even if she was grown fast, presenting, even encouraging it, based on her age, anything you did to her was wrong and not the way, right? But, like I said, we just overlooked the fact that, okay, he was out of pocket. And then when you get older, and then that, you know, years go by that same person, you know, make attempts to violate you. Then now you look at that situation different. And that's why I say we as a community, we have a, we good at turning a blind eye to something. Why? Because a lot of times the people who we need to straighten or need to Focus on to, to, to say, hey, you're out here violating, you out here doing wrong. Those usually are people who have a name for themselves, some type of, you know, popularity with them, maybe even have a little money, you know. And when those cases are, we will turn a blind eye to it until, until something happens, like I say, that's very egregious or until something happens to a certain person where you can no longer turn a blind eye. Then and only then do we start saying, oh, well, yeah, because he did such and such like that. And he been doing such and such. Okay, well, why nobody been going and telling? Why nobody been calling this man to the carpet? Okay, well, people say, oh, well, they ain't no snitch, this, that, or the third. Okay, well, where the big brothers, the uncles, the daddies? Where those people at? Why they ain't winning straight in that person? Why they just let certain people just carry on, carry on, violate, violate, and seemingly get away with it like i'm a firm believer that really in life you don't get away with nothing you know what i'm saying like you will have to see 
about your actions one way or another. Now, we may not always get to see you reaping whatever it is, right? But that don't mean you didn't reap it. You may have reaped it in silence. You may have reaped it far away from somebody. Nobody never knew you went through X, Y, and Z. But I do believe that it comes back to see you. The only way it don't come back to see you is if God give you some type of grace and, and mercy and allow you to avoid reaping what it is that you sowed. Other than that, it's nowhere around it, right? But, yo, you know, when I think of the things that get, the things that are getting, um, revealed even in the case like r kelly and you know all the people who came before because like i said we been had r kelly's in our hood we we always knew men who were dating girls and they shouldn't have been dating those girls because they were too old for them we knew the ones who they particularly liked younger girls and they were older we knew them but was anybody calling in saying, hey, listen, it's this guy stay up the street. He he live in such and such house. He always bother young girls. No, nobody didn't do that. Nobody didn't do that. I like to hope that in these days and times, you know, we're doing better. But a lot of times, a lot of kids don't even go out the door and hang out and stuff like that no more anyways. But that don't mean it's not happening because even though they're not outside, they're online. So they can still arrange, make arrangements. They can still get in the, the um, inboxes and the DMs of some of these young girls and still make certain things happen. Still entice them with money, with food, with this, that. Whatever it is that they coming up short with in their family, a, a, a male um, will know that he can entice her and draw her in with that. Whether it's money, whether it's clothes, whether it's hair dudes, whatever it is, right? So I'm just saying, you know, at some point we have to get out of the, you know, the mindset that it's all right for us to keep these people hidden and to keep secrets, especially when it's pertaining to older men and younger girls or when it's pertaining to men who don't have a problem violating a woman, whether she's a younger woman or whether she's his same age. If you inappropriate, you inappropriate. Do we sometimes as women put ourselves in bad situations? Absolutely. I will be the first to admit that. You know why? Because I have placed myself in bad situations and things have went left. Right? But because, just because I was being a fool, it does not give him the green light to go ahead and do whatever he want to do to me. No. But he thinks that. But somebody at some point has to be willing to call these fools on the carpet and say, no, buddy, just because she had that on or just because she came over your house, that does not mean that you treat her any kind of way or that you can have your way with her. Like, no, I didn't have an older brother, but I had guys around me all the time who were like older brothers, right? But even them, even in those situations, they probably was friends with the guy or they probably was, you know, just guys a lot of time don't like calling other guys out. But when it's your daughter, then now you got an issue with, buddy. When it's your little sister, you have an have a issue with, buddy. But when it's just, a, you know, just a girl in the hood or just a, you know, little girl or whatever it's like hey you know hey well mama well daddy hey yeah hey, they shouldn't dress it like that they shouldn't have put that on her you know they know how many it's yeah all of that all of that don't give buddy no right to be inappropriate and true story you know one time you know i had told one of my like older homeboys about the dude that had violated me right attempted to violate me i say that because Here's the thing. In this situation, you know, where I used to actually engage the dude, talk to the dude, you know, willingly. But then when you're not willingly talking to that person no more, then, and you be around them, sometimes they feel like, okay, because you dealt with them before, now they could deal with you whenever. And no, that's that, that's not how they work. You know what I'm saying? You could deal with a woman when she gives you the permission if she's of age, right? Now, if she's not of age, she cannot give you permission. 
But if she's of age and she gives you permission, permission that's between y'all. But just because she gives you permission one time don't mean it's a green light for every time. And that's what a lot of guys get misstrued. No do mean no. When she's saying, no, nah, I don't want to do this. And she find you to pull, you know, you trying to pull down her clothes. She trying to put, that's no. She don't want to be engaged with you in that way. That's what that means. It's not she's playing hard. She's not interested. She don't want that at that time. It's real simple. But because the guy, his, his adrenaline or his hormones be going, you know, at a thousand, he's not picking up on the cues. Or he's so used to being dominant and being able to take what he wants when he wants, he's not even trying to heal what you're saying. But anyways, like I was saying, short story, I had told my home, but how, how, you know, buddy didn't have no problem taking anything from a woman that he wanted. Right. So I had been told my home, buddy, right. So boom, lo and behold, another girl comes up, makes a claim. Now this girl, she go a little further than other girls had went, right. Including myself. So, she go to the police, everything, everything, right? This particular dude, we all out the door this particular day outside at my homeboy house on the porch. And the dude say, he, he's telling my homeboy about the claims that the girl has made, right? And so, of course, he's saying, you know, I ain't never got to do nothing like that. I don't have to take nothing from nobody, you know. I'm sitting there in amazement because I'm like, he see him right here. He know he done tried me the same way. But you just finna tell this lie to my homeboy. Not knowing I done already told my homeboy about the stuff you do. You know what I'm saying? But so my homeboy just sitting there listening to him. But just as a woman, and just me being me, I couldn't sit there and just listen to you act like this girl lying. Whole time I'm knowing this girl ain't lying because you done did me the same way. You right? So... Why he tell him home, but you know, I ain't never got to do that. I ain't, you know, you know, I don't have to take none of them. I said, well, why you keep doing it? No lie, my homeboy looked at me. And he, my homeboy walked right on in the house on that statement right there. The dude stayed outside. You know what he told me? He said, when my homeboy went in the house, he said, I told you I was sorry. And he had. But it's just the point. Yeah, you told me you were sorry. You were a bit more sorry because you kept doing it. You know, and he was one of, the, one of the dudes that, yeah, he have high popularity. He's somebody that, you know, had a name for himself. A lot of dudes were scared of him. So that's one reason why, you know, one, nobody really going to, you know, step up for certain women and try to defend them because they were scared of him. Right. But at some point, see. When you've been in a situation where a man has really tried to take something from you and it almost kills your fright. You see what I'm saying? And I think that's why for me, it ain't too many things that scare me. Not, not a day walking on two feet. Not animals I'm scared of. I ain't lying. But as far as a man, you breathe like me. It's hard for you to scare me. What you do is you put me in a situation where now I become angry that you really try me. And then now you not a version of me that you're going to get. It's, it's, you don't even want to deal with that one. Why? Because I've been in those situations more than once where I have to fight for something that I shouldn't have to fight for. This is mine. I should never have to fight for this. So once now I've not seen that, hey, a little fight and a little aggression will take you a long way. I ain't got to be scared of you. Because see, at the end of the day, either you're going to leave here or I'm going to leave here. Or, 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 we'll live, or we'll live to see another day. You know. And, and, and just be able to go on. You know, only a couple things. It's only a couple scenarios can happen. Right? And so it's like. After that, I was just like, dude ain't never going to learn. You know, even, even the fact that, you know, you've done it so many times to, to women, you know you wrong. To the point where you say, you, I told you I'm sorry. Yes, but why you keep doing it? 
you know so i said all that and told that story because like i said you know this guy was well known in our community to do to to, to violate women for years and years no lie all the way to the point of now this happened to me when i was in you know around high school time senior year ish you know um no lie all the way up until I just talked to, I was just told by somebody close to me, like, within a, a year ago, that the same dude had have, have, have violated her. And me and her, well, we are, if we ain't 10, 15, we might be 10, 15 years apart. So that show you how long he kept doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, unfortunately, we got to do better as a community because we've known over and over and over again who these people are, who these men are, what they do. Sometimes it's women that violate. Sometimes they out of pocket. They see young boys. They prey on them too. You know, if you out of pocket, you out of pocket. It don't matter what. It don't matter if you female or male. It just most of the time it's a male. And most of the time they're preying on vulnerable women and, and younger um younger women. That's just how it goes. That's what happens, you know. Um, but like I said, far too many times we turn a blind eye and a deaf ear. We know that's what they do. You know, and I don't know, I just feel like if I'm a home, if if as a woman, if I have heard that my homegirl is constantly violating young boys and, and that's what she do. She couldn't even be my homegirl. It's just no way that I would be okay with that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like they say, everybody be complacent in that stuff. People who done heard about all these freaky things going on at Diddy parties, but they still went, they still engaged. Some people just went. Some people went, engaged it. You ain't no better. Like, you co-sign that. Right? And you can say, well, I didn't really know all what was going on. Okay. You might then. But if you ever heard anything about him, you know, dealing with um, women he wasn't supposed to, treating them inappropriate, if you had ever heard about that and you still engaged with it, you wrong. You wrong. You was wrong. It, it has to come a time when we stop engaging and stop entertaining stop co-signing foolishness when people are out here clearly violating people you know it, it it shouldn't have to come down to it being your daughter or your granddaughter it shouldn't have to come down to that you should be able to speak up on stuff called call a call a spade a spade it just is what it is now here's the other thing that these women be saying that it took them so long to say certain things because they were scared um, I don't know about that one. Cause like I said, I feel like for me, everybody different, but once a person has violated you or attempted to violate you, if you put up any kind of fight, if you, you know, to me, that gives you a different level of courage. So you made it through that. And then afterwards, you scared of them? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Now, I could see you having fears of telling because you don't want, you know, maybe something to happen to your family. You don't want certain things to get out. A lot of times when these women were saying they were scared, I don't always think they, they mean that they were scared of the person. They may have been scared of what would come after that. The aggravations, the, you know, um, maybe the bullying, maybe some of the retaliation. They may have been scared of that, you know, more so than being afraid of that person. Because it's like, hey, when they violate you, you you, you already done, done the worst to me that you could do. You know, um, so it's, a, it's kind of a different feeling. You know, you that, that person almost gives you a feeling of, of disgust and like a... You know, you feel like I do something to you, you know. Um, so 
yeah. A lot of times it may take a woman a little longer to come out. Um, but that 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 is a problem though. That is a problem. Waiting too long to say something, it allows that person to continue to, to violate. To continue to violate. You know, but a lot of times, like I say, within our culture, sometimes you could come out and say that the person did X, Y, and Z. What we do. At like at like nothing, you know, until like I say, until it's something very um egregious that they do, or till they do it to a certain person. Then now we want to pay attention the whole time that person been doing it. That everybody else that's regular, degular, you know, you shouldn't have to have a certain level of popularity, or you shouldn't have to, you know, belong to a certain family or whatever for you know your experience to be to to be relevant, to be important. You know, so yeah, we got to do better as a culture with that. I don't, you know, hey, I'm I'm kind of far removed from, from all the things that may be going on, but I'm sure on some level that type of stuff is still going on, you know. And like I say, hey, you you know some, you see some, say some.